It's Extreme Physics. And tonight, our contestants are going to be lit up by our star prize. They are Linda from Lahn, Sean from Straban, and Raj from Randallstown. And here's your host, Isaac Neutron. Hello, hello. So prepare to be shocked. Tonight's show is all about electricity. And here's the girl whose sheer intelligence will get your circuits flowing. It's Dr. Rula. Hi, Isaac. Today, we will be demonstrating that the voltage across an ideal conductor is directly proportional to the current through it. Or as it is better known, Ohm's law. Turn it on and take it away, Dr. Rula. To prove Ohm's law, in this experiment, we will need a voltmeter, an ammeter, a one meter length of constant and wire, a low voltage power supply, connecting leads, crocodile clips, and a variable resistor. First, we will build a simple circuit, which will include the constant and wire as the conductor. The ammeter is connected to the circuit in series but the voltmeter is connected in parallel to the wire to measure the voltage across it. We turn on the power source and adjust the variable resistor. A small current is used to ensure that the temperature of the wire does not increase. Read the measurements on the ammeter and voltmeter and record them in a table. We open the switch between readings as this also prevents the temperature of the wire increasing. Then, we close the switch again, adjust the variable resistor to slightly increase the current. Record the new voltage on the voltmeter and the current on the ammeter. Finally, when we have gathered six pairs of results, we plot them on a graph with a voltage V on the y-axis against current I on the x-axis. This makes a straight line through the origin, showing as we increase the current, the voltage also increases proportionally. Ohm's law states that the voltage, V, across the conductor is directly proportional to the current, I, through it, provided that all physical conditions, such as temperature, remain constant. The equation for this is V equals I times R. We have proved this with our experiment. Rula, that was absolutely electric. But now, let's play Extreme Physics! So today, it's all about resistance. We've set up a circuit just as Ruler described, but this time, connected to the circuit is our prize board. The voltmeter reads 500 volts, and the ammeter reads 10 amps. All you have to do is calculate the right resistance, light up the board, and you could win an Extreme Physics Mantle Clock. So, just calculate the answer using Ohm's Law to win. Ruler, any tips? Apply the formula correctly and you'll be fine. Three, two, one, go! Linda from Larn, what is the correct resistance? Is it 50 ohms? You've said 50 ohms. Ruler, is she right? We know Ohm's law states that V equals I times R. So if V is 500 volts and I is 10 amps, then R is 500 divided by 10, which is 50 ohms. So yes, Linda is correct. Well, Linda, have fun with the clock. So, it's good night from everyone here at Extreme Physics. And remember, if it ain't fun, it's 